Today I'm going to be telling you a story, a real story that actually happened to me. Do you remember what kind of writing that is when we tell stories that is about ourselves, that actually happened to ourselves? Yeah, it's a narrative. I'm going to be writing you a narrative today. And when I'm writing, I'm going to be focused on making sure that I have finger spaces between my words so my writing doesn't look like alphabet soup. We don't want alphabet soup. I'm going to focus on finger spaces between my words. And I'm also going to remember to put a period at the end of my sentence. So, are you ready for the story? It's about last night. I'm going, before I tell you my story, I'm going to draw a line. And that line tells me that up here, I draw my picture. And down here is where I write my words. So last night, the sun was setting. So I'm going to draw a sun. It was a very sunny day yesterday. It was setting and it was beautiful. And I had a visitor over at my house. Do you know who that visitor is if I just draw her like that? You don't. So I have to label her. Mm, um, the visitor who came over to hang out with me yesterday was my mom and we were kind of bored so I'm going to draw me because I was with her and we were pretty bored and so we thought what could we do on this beautiful night? We decided to take Tui on a walk. So here's me. Me. And when you do your writing, don't forget to label your character and also label yourself. So we decided to take Tui on a walk. It was a beautiful night. So we took Tui on a walk. That's another. Tui is another character in my story, so I must label him. Tui. We took Tui on a walk. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about the walk is that there were birds flying all around. And they were saying, Ch they were chirping. It was a beautiful sunset walk with my mom and Tui. So I'm going to write my words because now I'm done with my picture. My picture matches, is going to match the words that I write. So am I going to write, I went on a bike ride? No, I'm not going to write that because that's not what my picture is about. My picture is about last night going on a walk with my mom and Tui. So, I went, I need my finger spaces, went, hmm, went, wh-ent, wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-wh-w
and who, who else do they go on a walk with? My mom and <gasps> Tui. All right, Tui, right here. Make sure you have your fingers facing. Ooh, e. Oh, I'm missing something. I gotta put that period at the end of my sentence. Now I'm going to reread it to make sure it makes sense. I went on a walk with my mom and Tui. My picture and my words match. Do I have finger spaces between my words? Yes, I do. And I also have a period at the end of my sentence. So now I want you to go get a piece of paper and a pencil or a marker or whatever you need to write a narrative. And I want you to plan, plan a narrative so that you can draw a picture Label your characters, yourself, and then write a sentence that matches your story. At the end, post a picture so I can see it and then maybe share it with the rest of your class. Okay? Bye, writers.